Fever Games. From the link in the description given below, download this application and install it in your phone. Open up the app that you have just installed, agree to the terms and condition, swipe right and then enter the Vmos code. The only permission that you actually have to give is the storage permission and draw over the top permission. The others are, well, pretty much useless. You don't need to give other permission. But I'm just gonna give other permission just for the sake of this tutorial so that we don't have any uh, problems in the future but I definitely would not give all the permission here. So after you give the required permission to the app, you press on I'm an old hand here. I don't know why it's asking us like that. And then you hit the add virtual machine and you download the first option here 7.164 bit. You press that download button right there, it's about 285 megs download size and uh, once it's downloaded up boot up the virtual room remove any ads you have close them and uh, click on the play button to boot up the virtual machine it's pretty easy to do uh, if you mess up nothing will happen there is no risk no root involved so don't worry go ahead and press tools and go to import go to apps and application it will show your apps so go ahead and import your call of duty uh, meanwhile import the z archiver as well because you need some sort of file manager close everything and open j archiver on your phone not the virtual machine and go over to the android obb folder and copy the uh, call of duty obb folder outside now go inside the uh, virtual machine and then go ahead and import the obb file that you have just pasted outside and uh, it will be done pretty quick if you have fast storage and go ahead open up jet archiver go to demos file transfer something like that and copy the folder into android obb folder if you do not have an obb folder you create a new folder name it obb in small letters and uh, once you paste it inside you are pretty much done the game will work uh, now you have to do some bit of settings here go ahead and press the uh, floating button and go to settings and then swipe down until you find display settings set the highest resolution that you have then make sure you set the refresh rate to 120 fps You're pretty much done here uh, go back and then and then uh, go back yeah go to virtual machine information and tap on that pencil icon above the qualcomm and uh, if you do not have a snapdragon 860 uh, 865 or 870 chipset then you want to tap on the high frame rate if you have a 865 or 870 then you don't have to tap on the high frame rate you can leave it as original now now this is the most important step you need to tap on the uh, vendor information and you need to change your model number to sony just like that i have written in the video don't make a single mistake write it exactly as i did you can also enable gyroscope in the authority management option uh, after that you're pretty much done just shut down the virtual machine and start it back up again restarting the machine basically and then you can just boot up the game log into your account here using the call of duty account and uh, before that, make sure you are not playing in power saving mode. Enable any performance mode or any game mode that you have in your phone and uh, it will give you better performance. And also make sure that your refresh rate of the display is set to 120 hertz. Because if you do not set it to 60, uh, 120 hertz, the FPS will not go over 60. So after that, you're pretty much done. You can just go ahead and open up the virtual machine and uh, get COD and start playing. I'm gonna show you with a FPS meter that my game is in fact running in 120 FPS. As you can see, it's a built-in FPS meter and I'm going to play a multiplayer game. Uh, settings are low, but I'm enabling all the anti-aliasing and effects. So it's pretty heavy, you know. 
Uh, you could play on medium as well, but I do not recommend. You can see the temperature; it goes up fast. Uh, heating will increase, so I recommend playing on the low settings if you do not have a fan nearby. The FPS is pretty stable, actually much better than PUBG 90 FPS. Never goes down 115 FPS, and uh, yeah, the game is just very smooth to play. You can do this in any phone any device just make sure your phone supports 120 hertz do not do this on a uh, very weak phone because if you cannot even get 60 fps what's the point of doing this you can also do this on a 90 hertz phone and get 90 fps as well so go ahead do what you want instead of putting 120 just put in 90 in the settings so that's pretty much it you can play it like that uh enjoy guys and i'll see you in next video